if you're not familiar with it. Downscan imaging, which was patented by Lawrence's parent company, Navico, gives anglers a photo-like image directly beneath the boat. So rocks look like rocks, trees look like trees, you get the idea. Plus, you can also identify fish targets around that structure. Today, Garmin has introduced Clearview, and in the US, Clearview is being distributed without a down-facing transducer element. No other company is marketing a fish finder as a down-scanning product when it doesn't have an actual down-scanning element in the transducer. That's because other major marine electronics manufacturers found that method didn't work and have since licensed our down-scan imaging technology to include in their products. So here's the point. What we want to show you is that it's hard to get an accurate picture of what's directly under your boat when your transducer elements are aimed primarily at targets to the sides of the boat. By using only side scanning elements, there's a gap for the down scanning area directly underneath the boat. The Garmin Clearview approach is to stitch together the side scanning returns to fill the scanning gap directly under the boat. For true down scanning fish finders, that gap is filled with sonar data received from a down facing element in the transducer. That is not the case with Clearview. Check out this side-by-side -side comparison of the downscanning performance of an Elite 7 Ti and a Garmin with Clearview. All right, so right now we're actually running both of these products side-by-side, -side, but to go ahead and clear up the Garmin, you can see the lines. I'm going to go ahead and stop the sonar of the Larance unit to stop that interference that the Garmin unit's picking up. So we're going to make a pass around this little group of trees, and as we go around this group of trees, you can actually see the trees uh, coming off the side of this little clump. We're going to make the same pass twice once with the Garmin Clearview, and then once with the Lowrance TI showing the, using our real down scan from Total Scan uh, to show you the difference in what you're actually missing with Clearview. So we're gonna go around a corner here in about two seconds where we turn back to the right. We've made this pass a couple times to kind of get, you know, get a feel for it and just set a route. So here we go around our, our circle. <clears throat> And immediately, one thing that becomes obvious is I can see the same detail I could see before, but actually a little bit better. The trees fill all the way up, the branches are all the way full. But what you can also notice inside here is all the fish targets inside those branches. To me, the number one reason of having a fish finder is to find fish. Call me crazy, but as an angler, if I can find structure but I can't find fish, I really haven't, I haven't found a great tool. So with my product, not only do I see the fish, or to see the trees in the structure, but I can actually see the individual fish surrounding them. As you can see right here, there's a little drop off that we've been over this a few times and we know there's actually a group of trees or uh, brush off this drop off and there's been fish on this drop off the whole time too. When we go over with the clear view unit, you can actually see a little bit of the structure. You can see one tree sticking up and you can see a couple little branches sticking out, but that's about it. When we make this pass again using our Lowrance uh, Elite TI unit, you'll actually see that in much more detail and we've been seeing fish on every other pass. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the Garmin unit now, and I'm going to start the Lowrance unit, and we'll make the exact same pass again. Here we come around the corner. I can see that one tree that we marked before, but now look at all the detail I can see on this drop-off. Much, much more detail than what I'm showing over here on the Garmin Clearview unit. To me, the only thing clear about Garmin is the water column. You don't see the structure and you don't see the fish. Look at all this detail. Look at the schools of suspended fish stacked up right on that drop-off, exactly where we would expect them to be. So as we get a little closer to the end of this pass, we're down to about 51, 52 feet. I'm gonna actually go ahead and unpause the Lowrance sonar and let them both ping. Uh, at this depth, we don't seem to interfere as much. And what I'll show you is a side-by-side -side comparison of how heavy and fat their trees look versus how ours look. Here's a great example. See how nice and blurry this is right here? And when you look over on our unit, those are three distinct trees with their own little groups of branches. There's actually a nice little piece of structure right at the bottom with a white dot, which in downscan imaging terms means fish. I can't decipher that from this clump. Nice and clear on this side, I can actually even see the fish in that structure. Over here, it's a nice blurry blob. That blurry blob is a side effect of picking up that structure in both side beams and then trying to make with software a synthetic downscan image. Real downscan, fake downscan. The difference is very clear when you look at it. All right, again, as we get into a bigger clump of trees, I want you to notice how you can tell each individual tree. Look at the top of this tree, that cloud, all those white dots. That's bait fish surrounded by a bunch of predator fish all in these trees. Crappie fishermen would be going nuts where I'm sitting right now because I guarantee you that's what I'm looking at. Again, here's that bent over tree we talked about earlier. Nice, much, much clearer. 
and you can even see that the top branches go all the way to the surface. Again, real down scan, downward facing elements, gives us this very crisp, very clear, undeniable picture of what's going on underneath the boat. I see trees and I see fish because down below us there are trees and there are fish. I don't have to see the big heavy blobs and masses that I see on the Garmin Clearview unit. So here we are, I've actually pulled up the same coordinates uh, where we just recorded the Garmin Clearview image. Same drop off we're seeing right here. Look at all these fish. Leads me to believe one of two things. Either those fish all just showed up or the Garmin unit completely missed them. All right, so we're out in a little bit deeper water, uh, about 50 to 55 feet, and we just drove over an old roadbed and an old bridge. And what you see here on the left with our real down imaging is you actually see the culvert where that creek used to run under an old roadbed. Looking at the exact same thing on the Garmin, I got nothing. To me, that is a huge miss. It's one thing to say you miss a tree or to miss a fish, but to miss an entire roadbed and culvert is another thing. So we're back at the garage after our shootout, and the one last thing I wanted to show you guys was how we did our transducer testing. You guys may be wondering why we haven't mounted on this mount the way we do instead of stuck to the back of the transom. For us to get an apples to apples comparison, you need to make sure that the transducers are seeing the exact same thing at the same time. For us to do that, we put two in line. You'll notice that we actually put the Garmin transducer first in line, which gives it the smoothest, cleanest water flow, and theoretically the best possibility for getting the best image. We've gone ahead and taken the sacrifice and putting our transducer in the back. As you guys see on the water, this location did not help the Garmin transducer at all and it did not hurt us at all. We still saw the most fish and the most structure with our true dedicated down scan versus the made up or synthetic down scan of the Garmin Clearview transducer. The bottom line, shortcuts may help you get to a solution faster, but in the end, if you're cutting your customers short on performance, is it really worth it? To learn more about how real downscan imaging can help you find and catch more fish, go to www.lorance.com.